What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a choice band Palafin team that also features Life Orb Dragapult. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, huge shout out to all my subscribers. You guys really helped me grow as a content creator. Cannot thank you guys enough. But before we get started here with today's team preview, you guys know I got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Kanto Clark. Thank you so much for making this team a rental code. I will be leaving his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check it out, definitely head down there. He has a bunch of cool rental teams over on his channel. So like I said, go ahead over there, show him some jeans love and subscribe to his channel over there. But we can get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner. We have the one and only Gargleknack over here. Gargleknack is such a cool Pokemon from Generation 9. It's a pure rock type with purifying salt and leftovers. Move set consists of body press, iron defense to stack up that defense boost, then salt cure and wide guard to protect the ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. Psychic Pokemon is going to be our support mon. It is going to be Amoogus over here, and you really cannot go wrong with Amoogus on your team. It has Regenerator as its ability, holding the Rocky Helmet as its item, and then it's got Clear Smog, Spore, Protect, and Rage Powder for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be our heavy hitter. It is going to be Dragon Bolt. Dragapult over here, which I absolutely love. I think this Pokemon's absolutely amazing. Really fast, hits like a truck, giving it the life orb as well, makes its damage go up even higher. It's got clear body as its ability, Phantom Force, Dragon Arts, Dragon Dance to set up and protect for its final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be arguably the best Trick Room Setter within this game. It's going to be Frigoraft. It has Armor Tail, which is an amazing ability that protects yourself and ally Pokemon to uh, first turn priority moves. It has Throat Spray as its item, and it's got Psychic, Hyper Voice, Trick Room, and Dazzling Gleam. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the boy. It is going to be King Gambit. And this Pokemon is really, really strong, especially with its ability Supreme Overlord. It has Black Glasses as its item, and it has Iron Head, Kaltau Cleave, Protect, and Sucker Punch, which I believe to be the best moveset for any King Gambit. Final Pokemon is going to be one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. It is going to be Palafin Overlord. Just a little cute dolphin that turns into a hero when you swap it out in the battle. It has Choice Band as item, Flip Turn, Jet Punch, Drain Punch, and Terra Blast for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Choice Band Palafin and Life Orb Dragapult team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Dodonzo team over here. And I don't really know how our team's going to counteract that team right there. Not too sure. Gotta kind of figure this one out because, again, Don Dozo is going to be a problem for us. I want to see this thing speed. 120, I think our speed stats for most of these Pokemon are low, considering Trick Room is a viable option. So I kind of want to go into Frigoraph and pop a Trick Room. So I'm going to leave that Pokemon. I got to bring something in to try to counter up onto the... Onto that Don Dozo, but I don't think we have anything to do so, right? We have anything to actually get after it? I don't think we do. This thing's a problem. What do you what do you have? You have clear smog, don't you? Okay, you're the Pokemon. I was gonna say, what kind of team doesn't have it? But you're the Pokemon. You're, we're gonna have to bring that Pokemon in here. So I'm gonna bring Frigoraph. I am going to end up leading the uh the boy right here. Or do I lead Palafin? I could lead Palafin, but I don't think Palafin would be too bad. Pally Pally for back end. Because I need a Moongus and I kinda want Dragapult here as well. But if I want to go Pally, I should lead Pally, right? Makes the most sense. Doesn't make the most sense. I am going to go Palafin. And we're going to go there. And I am going to go you. Actually, do I really want you? I don't know. I don't think I want Palafin. But I'm going to have to take it. We have nine seconds left. We got to lock it in. We got to lock it down. We got to look to grab ourselves a win here in our final battle. But yeah, definitely need a Moogus here. I was I was stunned for a second. I was like, wait a minute. This team has no way of countering Don Dozo. And then I realized, I was just like, okay. My boy Moogus has clear smog. This team's rocking with it. It's rocking with it. It's all about it. Let's see who our opponent leads. They're going to end up throwing out the da -da -da, Max Caliber and uh, you. Okay, that's not too bad. I can flip turn out here and I can pop a simple Trick Room. Could also Gleam, but Trick Room's going to be your play all day. So I'm going to Trick Room here and I might as well flip turn, right? Or do I hard swap? I feel like I flip turn. I feel like I just flip turn because it is super effective. Struggle Bug is going to come out here and that is going to drop Special Attack, correct? Is that a correct statement? Yeah, it is. The special attack drops. Can you go first, Palfin? Palfin does go first. That's pretty solid. We're going to deal some lovely damage over on that slot. And I can see a Glaive Rush coming in here. I think it's Rocky Helmet. It is Rocky Helmet. I got to save my Amoongus, obviously. And I'm just going to go straight into you. 
save my, save my choice band Pokemon for later, and we'll go into the Gambit. So Gambit's gonna fly out here, not too shabby. I like you, Gambit. And Ice Spear Spear's gonna fly, which I'm kind of scared of. I'm kind of scared of. If it's not low dice, we could potentially eat, because that's three. This is four. Can we eat up one more? I think we can. Okay, hit four times. I'm all about it. So Trick Room's gonna be popping out here, and we're having a solid turn. The next thing I want to see is going to be the speeds of my Pokemon. And I think Frigograph might be slower. Let's see. How you doing, Frigograph? 69 and 61. Okay. So you are a bit slower. Not Frigograph slower, but uh, I could go into a Gleam. I think I'd rather go into a Hyper Voice. Just because it's Stab and it can pop my... Uh, and it can pop my... What is it even called? My throat spray. So he ends up protecting. That's not too bad. As long as this hyper voice can KO, but it might not be able to. So I am minus one. Oh, we double protect. So we just wasting our trick room turns. Seeing what I want to drop out here. And since I'm going into a steel move, I think he's either going to Thrasilize or even swap out that Baxcalibur. So I think I'm just going to switch my next move to Kowtow Cleave. I'm all about it. But something I forgot to mention in the team preview or at the beginning of the video is, yo, the donations. Thank you guys so much for them. I've been getting, uh... The notifications i gotta start giving you guys shout outs for them with the, with your guys name so if you guys are interested in uh shout outs if you guys, and if you guys donate let me know if i can use the name that uh is on whatever or or whatever the money you sent on the paypal but really you guys do not have to donate but if you guys want to link is down in the description below and it really goes a long way so again huge shout out to all my donators you guys are the real ones but we're gonna pop another hyper voice here we are gonna switch it to cow talk leave like i said into the back caliber just in case he swaps or terrestrializes and then we should go straight up rage pounder i mean that ain't bad that isn't too bad that is not too bad, because Kalatau Cleave will KO here. Bang, see you later. We're going to take a, a tad bit of Rocky Helmet damage. I'm kind of hoping he just takes out Frigoraf. I'm kind of hoping he just takes out Frigoraf here for this. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. That's going to do a little bit of damage, but more importantly, bring our special attack back to normal. And if you take out our Frigoraf here, we should be thriving. You're going to Icicle Spear mate? You're not killing me with that. Waste of a turn. Waste of a turn. I need you to kill my frig ray. Let me get out my boy real quick. So what's the real play here? Because if he does have Don Dozo, he is going to probably throw out Tatsugiri here. And most of the time they will they will protect. But we'll see who he throws out first. It's gonna be Don Dozo first. Okay, so Don Dozo is gonna come out here first. And ah. Uh, I think I just gleam at this point. I'm just gonna gleam here. And I'm gonna pop this sucker punch. Because how many turns is left in this trick room? How many turns is left in your trick room? Two. That's not too bad. I could definitely see protects come out here. I'm gonna gleam. I'm just gonna straight up iron head through this thing. You know withdrawal. Oh no. He withdraw. So I, I hate that's one thing I don't like about Don Dozo. Is if you go into the Tasugiri slot, it misses instead of sliding over. Which it this should definitely slide over. This thing is going to go for Commander. I mean, probably going for an EQ here. Maybe even Thrasilizing, which would be the smart play and pick up with a double KO. But at that point, we just bring out our Clear Smog Pokemon and kind of get it for the battle that way, which I really, really like. But let's see. Again, Iron Head misses, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And Gleam is going to fly here and chip up that uh, that Don Dozo. So Don Dozo takes a little bit of damage. EQ is going to fly. Tasugiri dodges, and then double kill comes in. The so double kill, no problem, right? Yeah, King Game it gone. All right. So we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Obviously, this is going to be a clear spot play. This is why I brought him in this. But on top of that, I'm going to need to start getting some HP back. I might have to start Drain Punching. I might have to start Drain Punching. That's a real question. Do I start Drain Punching? But Amoongus, get on out here. Place it on left, and we will swap you. So I might even protect this turn just to waste out the last turn Trick Room. I can definitely see that happening. That's a huge problem. It really is a huge problem. And the reason I say it's a huge problem... Oh, it's, yeah, it is a huge problem. We need him to not protect this turn. If he doesn't protect, we can be thriving out here good. But I have to go for a clear smoke right into it. And go straight into a Drain Punch. That's going to be our choice move. Drain Punch got to be a choice move. It has got to be our choice ban move. And again, we're hoping this thing doesn't protect. Because if it protects, we pretty much lose this battle. Because say it protects, it wastes out the last trick room turn, then it outspeeds both my Pokemon, it can EQ, I cannot protect my Palafin, my Palafin will go out before the next clear smile comes in. So again, we're hoping this thing doesn't protect. It kind of comes down to here. And it doesn't. That's huge. That's huge for us. 
So we clear smog, we eliminate all of its stat changes, all of its boosts, and he's gonna set up a sub here. So it sets up a little bit of a sub action. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. And I can sport next turn. So I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna sport next turn. I could rage powder, but again, he might just EQ. Sub does fade, so my boy's able to do enough damage with that. And I get some HP back. Oh, I get HP back from, from that? I'll take that. From the sub? I'll take that all day. But Palfin's doing pretty good here. I don't see Don Dozo really doing like crazy amount of damage. But from here, do I just rage powder? Or do I go for the spore? The spore? I think I just go for the spore here. I just go straight for the spore action. He's gonna terrestrialize. What are you tearing into? Ground? Potentially water? Air. Oh wow, that's a that's a great terror type, but that's kinda that, that's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying that this Dondozo would have air. Now my drain punch is not doing too much. We're soaking up a little bit, but we are going to put this thing to sleep. How much HD are you getting back? I don't think he's doing a crazy amount of damage to me. Terror Blast is flying. Hmm. He going after my Moogus? Moogus, can you soak this? I think you can. You can. I love you. Great job, Moogus. Now we're putting this thing to sleep. We're not dealing with this thing. I'm trying to get after it. This thing's a pain. This thing is such a pain. Um, can I do anything right now? I actually just slowly keep going after Stantozo. Green punches, doing as much damage as I can possibly do, right? I guess we'll just start clear smogging into it. Clear smog, drain punch. We're choicing this. We have to. We have to. We're choicing this man. Chipping up a little bit, slowly but surely. It will be a guaranteed sleep next turn. The thing that sucks is this thing has leftovers, which is rather annoying. Definitely rather annoying. Clear smog coming out here. We're hoping that it is asleep this turn. Because if it's asleep this turn, it's huge. Because then I can KO, and then it could be a 2v1, and I can always rage powder whatever shot I have to do. Alright, let's do it. Any use is terror, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to clear smog. I'm going to rip into it. Yeah, another drain punch. And we're going to get after it. I think clear smog KO, right? I think clear smog KOs. Clear smog seems like it does enough damage. Clear smog, I need you here. Be asleep. All right, Don Dozo's asleep. Clear smog. I need you here, yo. <laughs> Clear smog, KO. Let's go. Let's go. We got a match. We have a match. This is why I brought Moogus in. I love this Pokemon. Clear smog encountering that Don Dozo. Now he has Baxcalibur and Tatsugiri, which I don't think is fair. I think after Don Dozo died, Tatsugiri should die, considering you're getting all those boosts, which is absolutely absurd. But it'd be like that sometimes. So now Baxcalibur comes out here. Uh, ch 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 I think I had the rage powder. I think I had the rage powder and just stream punch and take out you. It's gotta be my best bet. <clears throat> I knew it. I knew it. I was I was gonna say that. I wonder what Tatsugiri is going for. Maybe he might just be going for a Draco meteor, which I wouldn't mind. I would not mind the Draco meteor, considering it would drop his uh, stats. But he's gonna icy with me. That's a smart move right there. But I can rage powder again, which is huge. I can rage powder again. My speed is dropped. A little scary. But we have to just keep throwing these drain punches. How many drain punches do I have left? Not too many, right? Five. Got a drain punch into this thing. Do not land, don't protect. And I don't even think he went for it. Rage powder flying again. We have to protect your palafin. This is such a good battle, yo. I see one's gonna fly. It's gonna slow us down. Eat that up, Amoongus. Oh no. Amoongi Moongi. Amoongus did not eat that up. No bueno. No bueno. You're going for Glaive Rush? Glaive Rush might KO me. Eat this up, Pally. I don't think you got it. Oh, you do got it. You're amazing. Dream Punch coming in hot. KOing. Give me that HP back. Give me that HP back. How much are we getting back there? That's a nice chunk. I'm, I'm all about that. But I'm scared of a Draco Meteor. I am terrified of a Draco Meteor. I am terrified of it. It took double damage after that, so we picked the KO. Now I just got to roll out into Dream Punches into this thing. He canceled battle. Didn't even give it a shot. We, we take those victories. I'll take it all day. 1-0. What a first battle. That's how you know I am getting better at the game. I absolutely countered a Dondozo team in match number one. But I'm super surprised that our opponent canceled that battle. I feel like he had a real shot. Maybe he saw something I didn't see. And he was just like, nah, this match is over. But he outsped me. Maybe he had Draco Meter. Maybe he didn't. I really don't know. But they just canceled battle and gave up like that. 
But all around, great battle from us. We grabbed ourselves that victory, and now we're hopping into our second match, going up against a pretty cool Trick Room team, right? Slow King alongside with Grimmsnarl, Miascarada, and Armaru. So that's three Pokemon he can pop Trick Room with. And then he has the uh, the King's Gambit and the, what is that thing? The Golden Go. So he's definitely popping Trick Room, or she, whatever it is. And um, I don't think we need Frigoraf to go in here and pop a Trick Room. I might just go in with Palf and try to get that thing swapped out and roll out from there. So I'm gonna bring Pally Pally. I might end up leading the pole, or I might might be a back end Pokemon for me. But I might go you, and then hmm, I feel like we need both of these guys. But I kind of want Pole here. I kind of want Pole. Do we really need a Moongus? Just trying to see what Pokemon he has. We can't spore the Miascarada. Uh, Moongus could be solid. I mean, Clear Smog could come out here. Uh, but I'm kind of leaning a bit towards Dragapult for back end, and having my boy Gargonak in the back end as well, because I like Gargonak. Especially with a defense boost, he has a few defense or a physical attacking Pokemon. I kind of like it. But we have to watch out for uh, Miascarada. That Pokemon's always a pain. Super, super strong. Super deadly. Gotta watch out for it. Got to watch out for that. Because actually, all the Pokemon that we brought in are weak to that. Except for my, uh, my, what is that Pokemon even called? My King Gambit. But I'm going to leave my King Gambit and Palfin. My, my King Gambit's cooler because it's shiny. <laughs> And I think we just have to flip turn here, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. I could throw a Kowtow Cleave. I mean, this seems like our best bet. Considering I feel like he's trying to pop Trick Room. And if we can kind of cancel him out from popping Trick Room, then I can get out my Dragapult. But one thing I am a little scared of is a Sucker Punch going into my Palafin. Don't really like that. But I do, I do outspeed him. I do outspeed him. But again, Sucker Punch goes first. Duh. And Sucker Punch can do a decent amount of damage. Let's see. No, he doesn't. Okay, cool. So we go straight into that. And we're going to swap back. So I'm going to swap back. And I really feel like the play is to go in the Pult here. But at the same time, I don't think that's the play. Because if he goes for a Dark move, I am dead. So I feel like I'm forced to throw out the Gargle. I feel like I'm forced to throw out him. I can't. I cannot have my boy die. He's going to end up will o -Wisp for me. All right, that's too bad. That's not too bad. Could be worse. And this is gonna go for Sword Sands. Wow, Chris Mog would be gorgeous here. <laughs> it really would. He got that click KO. I think it does. If we still pick up the KO. We are burned. Um, he doesn't pop Trick Room, so Dragon Bolt's really gonna thrive in the back end. Um, hmm. If Miascarada comes out here, I will be terrified. I don't know how we're going to counter that thing. <laughs> it just seems like a problem. It's going to be Slowking. So again, if he wants to pop a Trick Room, I don't mind it too much. I think I have to throw on a Salt Cure onto this thing. Or I could start Body Pressing. I'm just going to Salt Cure right now. Get a little Salt Cure action and... We just get off Kowtow Cleave. We have to get off as much damage as we can on the Slowking. It's going to be a slow-paced battle. Slow paced battle, but I'm terrified of that. <laughs> that can gambit. Sword stance plus two on attack. Thing's deadly. That's deadly. But if I can throw on a soul cure onto it, I think we can thrive out pretty well. Especially with the soul cure damage, I can just pester him. If he pops the trick him, I can get off an easy body press onto it. I'm just gonna throw an iron head. Which I was not expecting to KO me like that. Okay. That kind of hurts. I know how strong that Pokemon is. But at the same time, I was like, my Gargleknack is an absolute monster. All right, looks like we have to bring out the big dogs. You made me do it. Palafin's coming out here, and we're hitting you with a jet punch. Not playing games. Not playing games. This is going to be a tough one for us, but we need jet punch to, to win us this match. All right, let's get it. Let's do it. Palafin needs you here. Big dog pally. Big dog pally. Fast slides wouldn't do anything. I mean, it would change our type into fire. I mean, actually, Dream Punch is super effective. But we need first turn. We need first turn. We gotta go for Jet Punch here. And you know what? I'm gonna Sucker Punch here as well. I'm, I, I, I gotta get off as much damage as I can over into this thing. Even though that did like nothing. Let's go, Jet Punch, baby. Send it. Not bad damage. We need one more turn or he's dead. Foul Pike. Oh, no. Chill on me. Kowtow Cleave. Go into my Gambit. 
<laughs> oh no. no 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 this is not good we, we're getting dumped on here we are it's over it's all over it's all over with it's all over with because i bring out you i change into straight dragon i mean that might give us a shot do i protect turn one though I might protect turn one because i have to waste out trick room turns i can always protect turn two how many turns left three. Oh god that's ugly that's real ugly I have to tear here though. I have to go in the Dragon Arts. I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch KO here. Actually, I'll just go straight into a Kalthak Lee. This is bad. This is real bad for us. This is real bad. <laughs> We're sitting in such a bad position. This Gambit's doing work onto us. Absolute work onto us. The stalled Trick Room, that's on our part. We should have probably just let him pop the Trick Room. But he didn't even go for it with armor. That was the problem. He eventually brought out Slow King and popped it. He was able to set up a sword dance. Heal pulse. That ain't right. And that's not cool at all. That's not cool at all. Come on now. Got that cleave. Taking out the Slow King. Not cool at all. This thing's going back up to full HP. And Dragon Hearts is going to slide over. For the D Darts. Kalthak Cleave is probably going to KO us, right? He been through. Even it being neutral. It still dumps me, dude. I'm telling you, this Pokemon's insanely strong. It's probably a Supreme Overlord here as well. It's just too strong. King Gambit is such a beast. Such a good Pokemon. Yeah, match number two. Not even coming close. Not even going our way. But we do pick up two KOs. Not too bad. We don't get uh, swept. But Miascarada was that perfect back-end Pokemon for him to clean up this battle. But I'm just going to run it. We go one and one so far. You guys know the deal. We're hopping into our third and final and looking for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and when I think of meta Pokemon, this is the exact team that pops to my head. All these Pokemon are straight meta. This is a top tier team that we're going up against. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win. We're going up against Murkrow, Annihilate, Garchomp, Mousehold, and then Hydreigon and Golden Go. How should I play this one? How should I get after? I feel like Annihilate is an absolute must lead for him, so I might just go into my Dragon Pole. I think Pole's got to be the play. We're going to lead our pole. I might lead it with the Palafin, because if I get that Pally swap, it could be good. Or I can lead it with the Frigraph. Frigraph wouldn't be too bad here. Do I protect on you, Frigs? I should, right? I do not, and that kind of hurts. But your HP set's rather high. You can survive a Gambit. You can survive a Gambit. So you know what? I am going to go in the Frigs. Frigraph is coming in here. I doubt that... No, they can't even taunt me because I have Armor Tail. I'm all about it. So I'm going to go pull. I'm going to go Frigraph. I'm going to bring my boy... And then either Gargonac or Amoongus. What do I think will work better here? I kind of feel like I have to get out Gargonac, so I'm going to bring that Pokemon. Considering it just got ripped in the last match by, uh, well, all my Pokemon got ripped by it, by the King Gambit. Once it set up that Sword Dance, that thing hits hard. I think it hits harder than most, most Pokemon with Sword Dance. Especially, it probably had Supreme Overlord. So every time a Pokemon died, it was hitting harder and harder and harder. And I was like, bro, this thing's just ripping into me and I can't do anything about it. Cannot do one thing about it, but it's all good. We're gonna we're looking to grab ourselves a win here in this in this third and final battle. Hopefully, hopefully. And I feel like both battles were solid. The first battle was phenomenal. We we played really well in that one. So did our opponent, but we just ended up winning it. And the second battle, our opponent obviously wants to set up that sword dance. It was GG. But our third and final battle, Mouse Hole and I like. I think this is the most common lead with these teams. So we're gonna throw out my boy for rigs and ah uh, la 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 la. I'm going to go for... I have to go for D-Darts here. I have to go for D-Darts. And I feel like I have to pop Trick Room. Or I can go for a second. I feel like I have to pop Trick Room. With the Pokemon that I have in the back end, we have to throw out Trick Room. The problem here is I think Dragapult just dies. I think Dragapult's just gone. Because I feel like he does the beat-up combo. Maybe I should have thought about this a little bit more. Or maybe I should have just straight up Thrasilize. But I'm not doing that. I'm not ter Thrasilizing. We go for D-Darts here. One's going to hit each opponent. And we're chipping up some damage. I actually did a good amount of damage on the mouse hold. Let's see what he does. Oh no, he's still going for beat up. So he's going for Rage Fist. And I feel like the Rage Fist would have KO'd me regardless. So Thrasilizing did not really mean too much. Alright, so Night Leap's KOing whoever he hits with this Rage Fist. And if I had to guess, it's Dragapult, right? That's fine. So Thrasilizing wouldn't have been a problem. Dragon Pulse dead. Again, that's totally fine. I get off this Trick Room. That's totally fine. I'm all about it. Alright, so now we have Trick Room out here. Um, hmm, who do I bring out? 
I mean, I can freely gleam with Giraffe Ring, which, is, which isn't bad at all. Not bad at all, because I feel like it's just going to be a Rage Powder show, right? I could tear into Flying, which I might have to do here. I might just straight up Thrash Slice into Flying. I feel like I have to, right? Follow me, obviously, is going to come out here just to block the Sucker Punches, all that good stuff. And I do have Supreme Overload, which is wonderful. I'm going to Thrash Slice into Flying, and I am just going to go into Kalthak Cleave, or I think, yeah, Kalthak Cleave is her play. I will throw it into the Annihilate slot, and at the same time, I could go for Psychic, but Gleam's going to be better. Just so we can chip up some damage onto the Annihilate at the same time. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Because if I had to guess, Annihilate's probably going for like a Drain Punch or something into my, uh, <clears throat> into my boy right there. Into my King Gambit, just to pick up the KO. But Thrasilizing in the Flying type really helps us out with that. If I could just pick up KOs, this could be nice. The Shirk Room's just said, I feel like we should, we should be fine here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. So there's our Terra to the balloons, taking my Gambit to the air. I love this Pokemon. That's so strong. I heard someone say, can't you use uh, Bisharp now with Evo Light? Oh, you're going to go for that. You cannot. I have Armor Tail, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got Armor Tail. I got Armor Tail. I'm going to do that. And can clean KO? Clean KO that thing. Yo, come on, Friggs. I need you there, Friggs. I need you there, Friggs. I really need you there. Oh, because I don't think Gleam KOs now. That hurts. So follow me's definitely coming out here. It's going to Rage Fist into me. This sucks. Uh, I could protect you. Uh, I feel like I have to do. I feel like I have to do that. Follow me has to come out here. I have to protect him because he's going to go for a Rage Fist now, right? Follow me, Rage Fist. That hurts, Friggs. I thought that was an easy KO. I thought that was a light work, easy KO, no problem. Protect coming out from the Gambit. Let's see what it does. He's got to be following me, right? No, he just straight up protects. Wow. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. Oh, we'll protect. Okay. Okay, so he double protects. That could have been a nice time to swap. Um, hmm. Man, dude, it's so hard playing up against Mouse Holding and Annihilates without him. <laughs> Super tough. He's going to get that HP back. Again, Follow me, I feel like, is a must for him to bring out here. And then Rage Fist is going to hit me hard for no reason. At this point, I got to go for the Cow Attack Leave. I got to stick with the Psychic. It's going to do the most damage. I'm just going to double down to Annihilate. I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. Again, follow me has to come out here. Yeah, so there's follow me. We're hoping that the first move KOs the mouse hold, the second move KOs the annihilate, which I think it's definitely a, a, a nice possibility of happening. Cause psychic is stab. This should KO it, I think. Good Friggs, give it to him. Friggs, give it to him. Friggs, second time's a charm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Friggs. Oh yeah, I love Frig Rare. I love this Pokemon. I didn't think I would like using it this much, but. After the first time I used it, I fell in love with using this thing. It, again, it is one of the best Trick Room setters in the game. Hands down. Hands down. Do not send out the Chomp. And the Crow. And the Crow, baby. The Chomp and the Crow is going to come out here. I do have Flying, so he can't hit me with Ground, which is pretty solid. I don't mind that. And how many turns is left in Trick Room? One. So I'm going to try to save for a graph to pop another Trick Room, because that could be lovely. But I don't think I, don't think I can. Go for a Cow Talk Leave. I feel like he just has to Terrasilize, right? The Garchomp's the only problem. I gotta go after Garchomp. And Gleam would be our best move. Super effective on the both. I'm liking that. Garchomp might protect. If it protects, like, I don't really see the Murkrow doing anything crazy besides maybe Foul playing. We have no stat changes, so Haze won't do much. Okay, yeah. Garchomp protects. Just wasting out that last turn Trick Room. And what's Murkrow going for? I wonder. I wonder what the Murkrow's going for. Murkrow's gotta be going for a foul play. Seems like the only option. For Riggs, I love you. That's some nice damage. Oh, you get a crit. For Riggs, chill on him. Foul play does come through here. You're gonna... Oh my god, I almost KO my, my uh, Burger Wrath. 
That kind of hurts because now I cannot even set up a trick room. Um, got that cleave shot come out here, and I mean, do we try to set up a trick room? Maybe we try. Like, figure F's gonna go last regardless. Both of their Pokemon go first regardless, so we might as well set, try to set up a trick room. You never know, something might happen here. But we still have the Gargoyle in the back end, which is, I don't think it's a bad Pokemon. Very defensively bulked up against two physical attackers. I could just start body pressing, which would probably be my play. But he's going to end up terrestrializing probably the straight ground. Unless you're a fire guard chomp or a dragon guard chomp. You're going to be, yeah, straight ground. Like I thought. Good thing my terror type for, uh, for Gambit is, is flying. That really works well. But he does have rock slide, which kind of hurts. That does kind of hurt. And Mercury would probably go for just a straight foul play, right? Which I think you should be able to eat. You do eat. We do have Sucker Punch ready to roll. Which is really good. But Kata Cleave's gonna do some nice damage. Rough skin. Does that KO me? Did I die? Oh, I'm on three. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Now from here. What's the play here? I'm not worried about Mercury too much. I'm really not worried about the Mercury. I feel like I have to drop a Sucker Punch. Into you. I feel like a Sucker Punch is an absolute must. And just in case he protects, I feel like we just throw Salt here over there. Or I can Iron Defense. I feel like Iron Defense would be my play. He's not going to go for... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why wouldn't we drop a Y Guard? Why wouldn't we drop a Y Guard? Oh, no. That's why. He's going to foul play. I knew it. That hurts. That hurts. What do we do from here? EQ does me dirty. What do I do from here? Because that's a foul play all day. Right into... Oh, no. See, this is why I should have KO'd the Murkrow. Give me a shot here. See, that's why I was thinking. That's why I start to think, but I think I got ahead of myself there. That's why I was sitting there thinking, yo, maybe we should just Soul Cure into the Murkrow just in case he protects. And that's exactly what he did. I feel like Soul Cure has to come out here. I don't even have to protect on this thing. We have to go for a Soul Cure, though. It's an absolute must. He goes for the EQ. That's going to KO me, isn't it? I'm dead. Eat this somehow. Did he eat it? No, 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 he did not. No, he did not. Absolutely dumped on. Man, dude, we came down to the wire in that third and final battle. We grabbed ourselves a losing record. That might be one of my first losing records in Scarlet and Violet. What a set of matches for today's video. Went one and two. Grabbed ourselves a losing record, but our second and third battle were both the battles that we lost, and I feel like they came this close. That third battle, we probably could have won looking back at it. Looking back at it, if I just protected the King Gambit that last turn. So just in case he protected, we kind of could have just like gone around it. Or if I would have just stuck with my gut and went right after Murkrow just in case the Garchomp protected it. It could have been working out really well for us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.